Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Thursday, November 7th, the day I'm filming this. And uh, yesterday was a bad day. <laughs> it was a bad day. I am literally wearing black today because it is a funeral for the US of A. No. Um, I'm trying to be lighthearted in this video because I know that yesterday, what really, really helped me was a lot of really funny content, uplifting content, mindless content, as well as the, you know, sharing of grief and rage and sadness and all of those things. And trust me, um, I'm right there with you. But yeah, I don't wanna harp on it for too long because I really just want this to be an escape. I just want this to be like you hanging out with me for 20 or so minutes and um, just trying to forget what's happening. So anyways, um, just sending all of my love to anyone who is also outraged and heartbroken and gutted. That being said, good morning. We're, we're getting up today. We're, we're gonna get out of bed. We're getting ready. We're gonna like actually do the thing today because I feel like that's just what, it's what you gotta do. You gotta put one foot in front of the other as you do. So that is the goal for today. Um, I'm just actually looking over the yard. Our sprinklers have never worked in this house. So it, it, like in order to make sure the grass doesn't die, especially in the winter, we've been watering it. So I'm keeping an eye on that. I need to go turn off the hose pretty soon. I actually just got ready to do some filming today. I think that's gonna help. I think that's gonna just like distract me. I'm filming like a completely different kind of video than I'm used to filming. And actually, I think that video is gonna go up before you see this vlog. And I'm basically like trying something completely new. I just wanna like have fun today and not think about it and like really distract myself. So I'm gonna be playing dress to impress in today's YouTube video. I've been practicing over the last, you know, 12 hours or so, and I'm doing my best. I'm not very good at it, but I think it'll be really fun. So um, the rest of the day is gonna be, well, my mom's birthday is tomorrow. I'm not hanging out with her tomorrow because she has plans with her friends, but we're hanging out with her on Saturday. So I just wanna get her like a card, not some flowers yet, probably. I'll wait until maybe like Saturday morning or something. Um, maybe get her like a small little gift. My mom and I are not like huge gift givers to each other because we both like, I don't know, we don't need more stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and we're just like, it's just, we just like spending time with each other, but I will try to find her like something really small. I also have some gift cards that I wanna use up, so I may end up stopping and getting some supplies for videos as well as like just browsing retail therapy, you know? We're gonna make our butternut squash soup again tonight. We actually um, loved it so much that we're gonna make it again. It's so freaking good. And we got like an actual butternut squash this time. So we'll see if that changes the flavor. I think we're gonna invite Drew's mom over for soup tonight too. So that'll be nice. And that's pretty much what's on the agenda. So let's finish getting ready and get back in the saddle as they say. That sounded weird. I would say that's pretty good. <laughs> It's kind of flooded. Whoops, I got distracted. So many planes today, and honestly, <laughs> I'd be getting out of here if I could too. All right, just getting ready for my filming. I'm gonna put some smell good lotion on. I actually just put on one of my little watches that I got. It's um, from Etsy actually. And I got a couple vintage watches on Etsy because I had some credits to use. And like, look how cute that is. It looks like a little bracelet. It's just so dainty and cute. And like, I just miss that sort of vintage watch look. What is the brand? Just says Japan movement stainless steel back. So there we have it. Oh, did I have it on backwards? But yeah, I got this one. They have some really cute vintage watches on there. You have to make sure that it's actually vintage and not like a new one that looks vintage, but you could tell with this one. And then I also got this one. This is an old vintage guess watch. And look how cute that is. Like that is so 90s and adorable. I love that. So for the days I'm wearing brown, that'll be super cute. I love that. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Frenchie. Oh, hello, can you see me? This is French or Frenchie. Um, it's actually Tisdale's brand, actually. They have it at Target and it's the cashmere vanilla scent and it smells like warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works, but like a little better, a little more mature. There is a newer one that they have called like Moon Juice moon something and it has like a santal type of scent and i really want to try that one too okay let me show you my setup i've got going on here okay so here's here's where we're at it's you know a little messy but it'll do so i have my desk 
from my little office area over there that I've pulled in here. I've got my desk chair, got my laptop set up. It is plugged into the wall. This we're gonna ignore. This is um, stuff that I need to sort out for like just to have in my closet. This is all of my like memory boxes, childhood photos. That's my childhood sleepover bag. I think I actually did a vlog where I went through this one time um, and it just has like stuffed animals, classwork, artwork. My parents have just like burdened me with all of this. <laughs> to be fair, it is my stuff. Is anyone else a millennial and your parents just give you all the stuff from your childhood and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? But also what are they supposed to do with it? Anyways, it's fine. So I need to get some sort of like practical storage solution for that. Anyways, <laughs> long clip to tell you, here's my setup. I'm gonna play a really fun little game and get bullied by children. Do you guys wanna hang out with me while I film this video? I just filmed my entire intro, my mic wasn't on it was sitting right here on the table so we're off to a great start love it oh that was so perfect too damn it you guys i am not even kidding that was so much fun like that was genuinely maybe the most fun i've had filming and it was definitely what i needed so i am going to head off like i mentioned before pick up a couple things i need to clean up this area but i don't think i'm gonna do that right now i just sent the footage that i just filmed off to my editor tara i was cutting a little close this week she doesn't edit it until tomorrow so it's fine but usually i have like plenty of other videos filmed in advance and i do have one that's already ready to go but i just don't want i want to just post something lighthearted in the meantime not that the other one is serious but like before i get back into like trends i'm not buying or you know things like that i just want to do something fun and silly so we did it okay i just changed into jeans because it is literally like a high of i don't know 68 degrees today or something like that 66 degrees is the high today isn't that crazy it's 57 out right now it was like 50 degrees warmer a couple of weeks ago. I am so thrilled. So we're gonna have a fun little shopping day together. Let's do it, but I'm gonna have a snack first. All right, just made myself a little snack before we go. I did a yogurt bowl and this is like my go-to. It's so filling. I like the Oikos, like I think it's called triple zero Greek yogurt. I think this is the strawberry flavor. I have some of this Trader Joe's almond butter granola. It's not my favorite, but it's good. And then I put a little bit of this Barney butter, almond butter smooth, and it is so good. It's like almost the consistency of peanut butter. Like it's not got that kind of gritty texture. So if you're into smooth, it's quite good. I really like the Trader Joe's almond butter. I like the Justin's maple almond butter. They're all really good, but I just do like a little bit of everything on one bite. I've always been a yogurt bowl girly. Love it. So I'm gonna scarf this down and then we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> below and there's Christmas music playing and I'm so happy like I needed this so far I got some balloons I don't know which way is the right way for my mom for her birthday I'm also in the candy section looking for gummy bears here we go oh my god there's an entire wall of gummy bears so sneak peek for a future video we got one of these maybe like a sour one too sure we go we need to get a sprite if you are on tiktok then you know what i'm talking about what the uh, this is a sprite a sprite chill there we go beautiful okay now i'm gonna find a birthday card for my mommy i'm always a funny card person you'll have to let me know what you are, are you sentimental or funny? One year for Drew's birthday, I got him a Minnie Mouse card and it said, birthday girl, give us a twirl. And I literally say that every year. <laughs> Something with dogs or cats would be cute. My mom's much more of a cat lady. So we'll see what we end up finding. Okay, back in the car. I went to Ross after that, but it was a bit of a bust for what I was looking for. So here's my five below haul. I love this place. I got my mom a happy birthday balloon. How cute is that? I might just like 
I don't know, put it inside like her present or something like that. I got her a card from me and Drew and it says, here's a special birthday message from two of the smartest people you know. He he he, so cute. I got a little birthday crown for her, cause why not? So we have a little inflatable, and I think it says like, it's my birthday or something, which is stupid and hilarious. And then I got my supplies for the video as well as a little gift bag and some tissue paper. And that's it. So my total was $14.59 for all of that, which is pretty good, pretty, pretty good. So anyways, oh my gosh, I'm gonna head home. I have some computer work to do and then we have like basically everyone in my life is a Scorpio. One of my best friends, her birthday was two days ago. My mom's birthday is tomorrow. Drew's grandma's birthday is Saturday. She's turning 98, which is amazing. But we're gonna go celebrate with her tonight and then make our soup. Drew's birthday is in like two weeks, less than two weeks at this point. Um, like literally so many, Everyone on Drew's side of the family is a Scorpio. I love Scorpios. We get along very well. Yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of birthdays coming up, a lot of celebrating to be done, but I feel good about what we got. Anyway, all right, we'll check in later. Good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning now. If I look tired, I am. It's 8.46 a.m. I only got out of bed like 10 minutes ago. I like woke up early and then fell back asleep, but we're gonna make a little coffee. We had a nice weekend so far. We've celebrated my mom's birthday, which was Friday, and we gave her all her presents, and we went to the aquarium yesterday, which was really fun, a little fun, wholesome family outing. It is now Sunday morning. We're gonna have like a relatively chill Sunday, but just get a couple of things done. One being we made this little pallet over here this weekend because our niece spent the night on Friday night. And then we did in fact lay on this like all of yesterday after we got home. <laughs> As you can see by the squishmallows. So we need to put all this away. We actually got a brand new TV stand because this was a makeshift thing that we did like over two years ago, like two and a half years ago, because this is actually a desk. <laughs> we got it to be a desk and then when we moved we kind of like worked with what we had and we used it as a tv stand but it's just not quite cutting it so we got an actual tv stand that has something really fun in it also that package that's right over there on top of the tv stand is maybe the best thing ever because we got the email last night from amazon that was like your package has been delivered and this is what it looked like and I truly don't think that Amazon person knows how much I needed that laugh. I don't know if they were doing it to be funny, but they truly made my night. Like I was laughing so hard. I immediately went on the app, gave them a thumbs up, rated them like 10 out of 10 for every experience. Like truly made my night. But anyways, that's gonna be our Sunday. First, we're gonna make a little coffee. ever seen anything more beautiful because I have not. Yes. Next up we're gonna clean up this living room and I think install this TV stand, build it. Who knows how long it's gonna take. We randomly found it. We've been looking for so long for like estate sales, thrift stores, etc., and just haven't really been able to find anything we like. So we found this kind of like vintage-esque looking one, I think from Wayfair, and it's the best one, and it had the best price. So we're gonna clean up first and then prepare for that. Goodbye bed floor palette. One of my favorite things ever. We will probably see you next weekend. And goodbye Squishmallows. Alright, 
pardon if you can hear the washer in the background, but I think the first thing we're gonna do is remove the TV from the current TV stand. We must carefully remove the TV because if you recall, or if you've been watching the vlogs, we actually used to have another TV, but our mover's broken. So this one's like only a couple months old. So we, we mustn't break it. Careful, our baby. When your boyfriend's a video game guy, have we decided where we're putting this yet? That's the thing. I was like trying to figure that out. I don't know. Like we could put it under this window right over here in the dining room. Like maybe here, this is a blank area. Then we could just like decorate it with stuff. We used to have it over here and had it decorated with stuff, but we like this, this rack much better. Drew also, when I was moving the camera, he also suggested putting it up in the landing. I think for now, maybe we'll just put it like under that window okay. and then we'll figure it out. Are we gonna move it a little bit and then put it down? And then <laughs> Cut. All those people like who are travel bloggers and they'll set their camera down like and they're just like <laughs> like why? For the shot, babe, you just don't get it. We've been walking this whole time. No. Yeah. It's terrible. Yep, it sucks. But it's well, for right now. Yeah. It's gonna upstairs. Oh wait, I should have opened it first. Back up! <laughs> Whee! Oh no. Pray for us. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Holy, this is the most pieces besides when we built my mom's ikea furniture in like 2016. this is the most this is definitely the most pieces oh god in case you couldn't tell by the box it is a cute little tv stand that kind of has like a vintage look but it has an electric fireplace inside of it so excited you can still play that we're gonna play some 90s music do our very best this feels like it's gonna be long but i'm not gonna manifest that this is gonna be so easy and quick yay can't wait oh my gosh it's gonna take us like an hour step one out of 35. <laughs> oh that's not so bad okay here we go progress update we are probably i would say almost an hour into this and you know it's coming together Press onward. God. Cool. All right. Let's see if this fits. No. <laughs> oh yes. We definitely want to change these knobs out. These are just the ones that came with it. We'll get something like more ornate, brass, something like that, but it's starting to come together. Got a little fireplace. Butch. <laughs> ah! Here she is. We're gonna do a little test. Oh, oh we need batteries. <laughs> Ready. Moment of truth. Okay. Did we know this right? We'll find out. Ah! That's so cozy. The camera's gonna die. We're obsessed. We'll check in later. I love it. It is now nighttime and it is absolutely perfect. And for those of you that are gonna laugh and say, it's an electric fireplace, oh my God, that's so funny. I live somewhere where we use real fireplaces. I live in the desert, okay? I live in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. There's not really a huge need for fireplaces, although my mom does have one and I'm jealous. Anyways, I am so happy we are going to enjoy this vibe and we will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.